Oh, uh, Max? Huh? I'm tired. Let's call it a night, what do you say? Hey. Uh, Ricky O'Neill? Is he breaking parole? Yeah, what's he doing coming out of Polly's this time of the night? Let's ask him and find out. Hey, O'Neill, hold up! They say that history repeats itself. And talking about those strange, unbelievable, lawless years, people have said to me, it sounds like a Western. I've thought about it, and it's true. The 20s is a Western. A Western on Third Avenue, Delancey Street, Brooklyn, Manhattan, the Bronx, onto the Lower East Side. History repeating itself. Same problems that existed in the lawless years in the West, in Silver City, Santa Fe, Cimarron, you name it. The marshal went all the way in his duty on the right side of the law. He didn't have to explain why, he just did. No matter what the bad man offered to bribe or frame him to their way of thinking. I was a cop for 20 years, police department, city of New York. What happened to the marshal happened to me. My name is Barney Roditsky. Hey, Nate. I know he is just doing business, and I hate to bust in. What's so important? Freddie can't wait for business hours. Roditsky pinched Ricky. When? Well, I got it this way, see? Uh, Ricky's coming out of Polly's, uh, bothering nobody, see? He gets into the car, or Ditsky and another copper shows up out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, see? So, Kenny faced Louie is driving, see? So he throws it into gear, and Ditsky shoots a whole load at him. <laughs> you know, if they hadn't hit them tires, Kenny face would have gotten away. You ain't making sense, Dripple. So why did he pick up Rick O'Neill? Well, Rick shot back. No, no, he didn't hit Ritzky. <laughs> Rick's a jerk. Ritzky got him on the Sullivan. Rick ain't no judge. He throwed a gun away before they grabbed him. It's a good thing. A punk's a three-time loser. They throw the key away. Get Dixie out of bed. Tell him to get a writ or something. I want Rick sprung tonight. Come on, Richard. You're gonna have to sooner or later. Don't waste my night, huh? Make it easy on yourself. Here, sign it right here. We'll all go home. I don't know why you don't believe me, Mr. Roditsky. I don't own no gun. Nobody said you did. I told you ten times. All this says is that you possessed the gun and you fired it. You fired it at me, Barney Roditsky. I was there, remember? I don't remember nothing. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't remember throwing that gun out of the car? Are you calling Mr. Roditsky a liar? No, you, you got it all bollocked up. He's my you friend. You call him a liar. I'm right here. I'm a witness. Now, I don't like my friends being called liars. Max, Max, Max. Honest, Mr. Roditsky, I didn't call you no liar. All right, then just sign this admission of possession. I can't do that. I, I don't own no gun. I can't go through this again. Look, Mr. Odisky, you're making a federal case out of just some kid stuff. The gun goes off. Thanks. Nope. When he got hurt, just, just kid stuff. You're right, O'Neill. Kid stuff. You're acting like a kid, so all right, we'll treat you like a kid. Remember when you were a kid, your old man took you out to the outhouse? Uh, look, I'll make it worth your while. Just forget you saw anything, huh? Do I smell a bribe? I smell a rat. Roditsky. 
Oh, hello, Dixie. I thought you'd become a big-time shyster. I thought wrong, huh? You're still getting out of bed in the middle of the night to take care of punks. All right, you got them, and you know what you can do with them. But let's get this straight, shyster. If Junior here tries to jump bail, I'll find him if I have to go into the sewers to dig him out. And tell him his days on the street are numbered. Cooperate? Yeah, I'll give him something to look forward to. He cooperates, I'll see that he gets a cell with a southern exposure so he can rot in the sun. And this time we put him in, we're gonna throw away the key. All right, boy. Cool off. What are you gonna learn how to take these punches? Never, never. Okay, I'll come and visit you in the hospital after you get your ulcer. I have a heart attack. Here. Think you can make the rap stick? Only if I swear that I saw the gun or the gun was in O'Neill's hands before it hit the street. That's what I mean. You're going to swear to that? Thanks. It's a throw-out, Barney. You know it. I know it, and you know it. But O'Neill doesn't know it. That and five cents will buy a good cup of coffee. O'Neill knows that gun was in his hand, and he's so afraid that we can make it stick. Well, maybe he'll make it. Figuring on him making a mistake, huh? What do I got to lose? 25,000 bucks. I don't know that Rick's worth it. What do you mean I'm not worth it? I give you the best years of my life. Shut up. You sound like a slobbering woman. Gee, honey, you had me all in the stew. I could hardly dance tonight from worrying about you. You go to the can, you break my heart. Okay, Flo, uh, make yourself decent and come back. Yeah, that Coney Island outfit, you embarrass me. I'll get into some glad rags. I think we should celebrate, huh, honey? Yeah, do that, Flo. Get going. I think you're wasting your time, mate. Rick is kidding himself. You could make it 50 Gs. And I'll lay you even money. You don't get Red Ditsky to touch it. Oh, thanks, Shyster. You're a real pal. You and your great legal mind ain't come up with no better way of getting me out of this rap. Stop sniveling. You aggravate me anymore, and I'll let you rot. You're getting paid for it. Come on, give with an idea. Well, there's no percentage in letting Rick jump bail. I don't think you'd get to Hoboken. Ditsky would have him picked up. And you'd be out 25 Gs real fast that way. Stop going backwards. I want an idea, not sympathy. Well, I think I know how to get Reditsky off her back. Yeah. Frame him. Well, that's okay for you guys, but what about me? Well, if the frame works, Reditsky's testimony won't be worth a plug nickel. Your case will be a throwout. Have you got a plan for the frame? I only got a month before I have to go before the judge. You Shut think up! How do you figure it could work? I'm all ready, honey. Where are we going? How about the cotton club? Now, shut up and sit down. And keep quiet. Oh, what can I do for you, boss? Arnie, you've been having personal problems? Well, yeah, I can't decide whether to spend the winter at Nassau or on the Riviera. I'm not making jokes, Barney. Okay, Captain. This your week to be kind to the hired hands I'll string along. My mother's feeling fine. Sophia's trying out a new diet and a new budget at the same time. And my pink toothbrush is turning green. Why'd you do it, Barney? Huh? Now you got me, Captain. Do a... Barney, you've been on the force over 16 years. You level with me, and I'll do anything I can to make it easy on you. Oh, that's very sweet of you, Captain. What did I do? Overdraw my allotment or number two pencils? Cut the wise cracks, Barney. Let's face it and get it over with. It's all here. If you'd rather not talk about it, I'll understand. Anonymous phone call on September 12th, 1928 at 8 a.m. Reported following information. Detective Barney Ruditsky has taken bribe money in the amount of $25,000. So there, Barney. We spent two weeks in accumulating the facts. I'll repeat and I mean it. I want to help you if you'll let me. Tell me where we're wrong. You made six separate deposits in two bank accounts. One account in your name, the other in your mother's. For a total of $23,000. Leaving $2,000 unaccounted for if we can believe the tip 100%. Yeah, it all fits, doesn't it, huh? Witnesses at the bank, 
signatures, the whole schmear. That's right, Barney. That all fits. Sure they can swear they saw me at the bank. I've been in that bank every payday for 10 years and make a deposit. Captain, does it never occur to you that, that this is a frame? Look, you put two and two together, you get four. You add up gas, you get nothing but hot air. Barney, so help me. The only reason we checked the facts out was to disprove what we started with. But it didn't work that way. It got thicker and thicker. Somebody figured out a smart frame and you're ready to nail me to the cross. Don't you see, you're giving them just what they want. Who's them, Barney? How do I know? You think I've been going around for the past 16 years making friends? I'm a cop. Barney, $25,000 a lot of money. You're only human. You're not the first cop to try it. You're right. convinced, aren't you, huh? There's no doubt in your mind. You're ready to pass sentence. Barney, it doesn't matter what I think. The commissioner looks at the file, and it's up to him how hard you get hit. The commissioner hasn't seen this file yet? I told you I wanted to help you. I tried to disprove the whole thing. Captain, you really want to help me? What can I do, Barney? Don't give this file to the commissioner till I tell you to. Barney, you know that'll incriminate me too. Yeah. You don't want to be holding my hand when they throw the switch. Don't get nasty, Barney. You're gonna need friends. Tell me, Captain, where do I find one? I'll hold the file till tomorrow morning. Thanks. That'll give me time to sell my dress uniform before the bottom falls out of the market. Six million people in Greater New York. A couple of thousand of them could want me cold decked off the force. A couple of hundred thousand with two francs apiece. Any one of a quarter of a million people could have set up this frame. But who has 25 G's? Must want me hurt pretty good. What's the use? If I had a faint clue, I don't even have time to check it out. I haven't even got a cold peanut. Under the circumstances, for the benefit of the service, and without prejudice to my own innocence of any claims, I hereby tender my... Hello, Rodetsky. Look, tell the D.A. to leave me alone until tomorrow, will you? He's giving bigger breaks to worse criminals. Huh? Oh. No, 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 skip it. No. Now tell him there's nothing to be changed in the deposition. Now I can't swear the gun was in O'Neill's hands because I didn't see the gun that was thrown out of the car. It won't be his last throw out. Look, if Owens is that anxious to make a fix, he finds somebody to take the dough. Look, you tell the DA for me to, to tell him I'm very sorry, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Mate Owens has big reason O'Neill don't go to the pen. Put out Rommel at heavy payoff for right fix. Cold peanut. Oh, brother, this is a hot chestnut. So help me when I get my hands on those hoods, I'll... You want Mate Owens, you go to his office. I want Mate Owens, so I go to his office. gangster isn't bathing in the admiration of the suckers, your next best bet was to find his current doll. Hi, Flo. Hi, Barty. If you're looking for that bus that driver got away with, it ain't in here, I give you my word. Oh, well, what happened to the driver? You got a glass of corny, Barney. Yeah. You, uh... Flo, you remind me of a kid 13 shocked at his father's ignorance. When he got to be 16, he couldn't understand how his father learned so much three years. You're cute, Barney. Still can't get over the fact you knew me when I wore diapers. Want to ask me for a date? You know, I just might do that. 
was only kidding. Flo, I need a favor. That my old man would understand. He always says, for Ruditsky, I take my shirt off. Yeah, well, you, um, you can keep your shirt on. Just tell your father that you return my favor to him. Hmm? You got it. Who do you want me to rat on? Your boyfriend. And Maid Owens. Gee, Barney. I'll meet you after the show. Stage door entrance. Okay. Thanks, Barney. My father will be glad to know his parole is clean. All right. Bye. Bye. the girls get through work and we go. What's eating you, boss? You're eating me. Oh, boss. Those bimbos out there waving their bottoms. Look at the rubes drooling at the mouth. I'm fed up with this glue factory. You ought to take a vacation, boss. Take a vacation in a pig's eye, take a vacation. I ought to retire from the rackets, that's what I ought to do. Well, you can't do that, boss. What'll happen to us? Starve. Stop. That's what I... It's too good for you. What's the matter with him? Mind your own business. Hey, get dressed. Uh, we're going up to Harlem. Yeah, you heard the boss. Go powder your nose. We'll run up to Harlem and have a few laughs. Count me out tonight. I gotta go right home. What's the matter with you? You're getting too good for us? My mother's sick. I promised her I'd come right home. Mother's sick. You dames are all alike. Think we're stupid. Gonna lie? Make it good. Go get dressed. I tell you, my mother's sick. I gotta go right home. Stop sniveling and get out of here. Anything I can't stand is a ball and dame. I'm sick of that, Flo. I'm gonna give her back to the Indians. O'Neill, when are you gonna learn to add? Add what? Facts. You can't dump Flo. No skirts ever tied a string around me, I can't cut. What are you gonna do if Flo opens her yap? She knows enough to burn all of us. If she opens her mouth, I'll put my fist in it. Wanna dump Flo? Do it. Don't wait till it's too late. I waited 20 minutes after closing time. With the way my time was running out, I couldn't afford any more. Girls, Flo, uh, she's still here. I, I didn't see her late. Oh, honest, Mr. Policeman, nobody's here. Nobody. Flo. Flo. 
Hello. Flo. Oh, my uncle, Hannah. Huh? Where's the telephone? Uh, telephone? Uh, tell me your telephone, huh? Huh? Good, thanks. Yeah, I know. I gave you a quarter. Keep the change. I haven't got a nickel. No. I tell you, it's the police. It's an emergency. Now get me Bellevue, don't. Huh? Give me your supervisor. Now, I tell you, this is the police. It's an emergency. There. You happy? She had enough barbiturates in her to put the Roxy Chorus to sleep for good. Very nicely put. Come on, come on. What else? Well, we've pumped everything out we're going to get out. If she lives, she can thank you. She, she sure is a pretty girl. Yes. Some figure. Yes, yes. Uh, are you her boyfriend or something? Yes, something. Look, Doc, I want to talk to her. Oh, sure, Cap. Anything for our finest. Thank you. She uh, tempt or did somebody shove them down her throat? How soon before she'll be able to talk? Who knows? There's a guy with a crystal ball over on 3rd Avenue. Well, I could try a stimulant. Try it. Okay, Gracie, give me a hypo. Try talking to her. If she wants to, maybe she can answer. This is Barney. Your friend Barney Roditsky. So, oh, if you hear me, just squeeze my hand. So, oh, I'm going to ask you some questions. Now, don't open your eyes. Don't strain yourself. Just take it easy. If the answer is yes, you'll squeeze my hand. If it's no, I'll feel nothing. You understand? You didn't take those pills of your own accord. Somebody pushed them down your throat, didn't they? You were waiting at the club for me to tell me what I wanted to know about Owens and O'Neill. You know how they frame me, Flo. In a few hours, you'll make a statement and then stand behind a complaint on Owens and O'Neill. I framed you, Barney. Thanks, kid. You're gonna be all right. Just rest now. Take it easy. I promise you I'll be right here waiting for you. Mr. Roditsky, mm -hmm. that's a great story. Frame, gee, that's a great story. Can I phone it in? Gee, frame, what a story. This is my big chance. I've been sitting on top of this ward routine. Oh, what a story. Can I phone in what I just heard? Huh? Sure, sure, kid. Thanks. Do just that. My big chance, too, kid. New customers every day. It's a big city. I've never felt more proud of being a cop. 